This is the Morso 06 and it's the last of its age. Hi, I'm Gabriel. My family have been manufacturing, designing and selling stoves over three generations. This channel is devoted to all things stove and fire related. We make reviews, information videos and how-tos. Check them out and leave me a comment. And if you'd like to see more, please like and subscribe. They now only make the 04, which is Eco Design and DEFRA approved, but they currently still sell this larger 06, which as I said, really is the last of its kind. Both the 06 and the 04 are multi-fuel with a proper wriggling grate and ash pan. They're made from steel with cast iron doors. This one has a 7.7 kilowatt output and the smaller 04 is 4.9. Okay, let's light it. This is quite a big stove, so you can fit a little bit more fuel in it. And fire lighter and some kindling. Up to temperature within 20 minutes and no issues of spillage of smoke into the room at any point. This stove is 75% efficient and the smaller 04 is 81% and Eco Design and DEFRA approved. So the 04 is definitely cleaner, but the 06 has a few other focuses. Obviously, in terms of clean glass, they can both run clean. The 06, if you shut it down, can cloud a little. Well, it comes with a glove and with a Morso tool. Um, the handle is stainless steel, but doesn't actually get too hot. So even though the stove's hot, I can operate it without a glove. And it sort of opens and closes really nicely and sort of feels well put together. The uh, tool obviously latches into the riddling grate and uh, shakes it back. And obviously on the other side, it will latch into the ash pan, as you can see here. Um, the main control below here. So all the way out like this, it's full power um, for when you're burning wood. So air's coming down over the top of the fuel. If you push it all the way in, now it's much more focused on burning coal. So the air is coming up from underneath. If you put it into the center, it shuts right down and very, very well, as you can see. But obviously what that means is if you're burning wood, you're sort of feathering it from outwards to inwards. And if you're burning coal, you're going all the way in and feathering it towards the center point to shut it down. So it is slightly complicated, but it does work really, really well. And obviously it's very flexible for different fuels. It's um, uh, the same on the O4, but um, because the O4 is cleaner, it's not quite as controllable. Older and less efficient in this case doesn't necessarily mean worse because this is less clean, but much more controllable and fuel efficient. So you can actually get similar burn times out of this stove, despite the fact that it's much bigger. We test fuel economy by getting the stove up to operating temperature and burning a single net of kiln dried logs on it. Uh, and this one did it for six to eight hours over a couple of tests, so it performs very well. Obviously, this stove is a multi-fuel stove, so it's focused on burning coal more. Um, but we allowed the ash pan to fill up with ash and sort of clog it with ash so that we could burn wood more efficiently. And uh, it would actually run overnight like that as well. This stove is multi-fuel and therefore a little more focused on coal. It's also got an air control that's designed to be flexible and work with both, but that means there's more to get to grips with. It's got a larger output and it's slightly less clean, but it outperforms its smaller O4 in a number of ways. Sure, the O4 is cleaner, but in terms of fuel economy and controllability, it actually outperforms it. If you're looking for a stove that needs to be flexible, seriously used, then this is brilliant. 
After all, it's all very well burning 6% cleaner, but if it burns the fuel 10% faster, what have you really achieved?